Uh, so I've been uh, asked to say a, a few things about eschatology for the upcoming CCT conference. And one of the things that interests me is the relationship between eschatology and liturgy. Um, because one of the uh, kind of oft-forgotten uh, schools of thought in Catholic theology, uh, the French school argues for a continuation of the Mass in heaven. Um, and the, the, the figure in the 20th century that is most often associated with this uh, earlier 17th century tradition uh, of Condrin and, and Ollier is uh, Maurice Le Pen. So I'm going to read uh, just a, a couple passages characterizing his position uh, from the Polyproist dogmatics. Um, of course, this is a rather old dogmatics from uh, the 20s, was reprinted several times. Uh, at, that point, at that point, Le Pen's uh, theories were relatively uh, new and fairly controversial. So uh, here, here is a position under question which I think is, is very interesting. Um, Pulla characterizes it as such. The whole of Christ's life was an offering or sacrifice. There was no need for him to make a ritual offering. Being the God-man and high priest, his perpetual attitude of oblation was sacrificial. In his passion and death, he merely continues it under a particular form, that namely of supreme expiation. For the same reason, the personal oblation is continued in Christ's glorious life in heaven. The Mass is this heavenly sacrifice made present upon our altars under special conditions. That is, the sacrifice must be visible, and as a memorial of Calvary, the rite must be propitiatory. These conditions are filled in the double consecration. The Church's part in the sacrifice is deposit the conditions which serve to make Christ's oblation a Eucharistic ritual and also to offer itself in its living unity with Christ. So that's one of the, the somewhat uh, forgotten positions in Catholic theology that directly relates the uh, Eucharist to eschatology. Uh, it's the school of the heavenly sacrifice of the Mass uh, associated with the French school and in the 20th century Maurice Le Pen.